Hello everybody, welcome back to Sonic Chronicles. We've landed on an alien planet. There are big bulky dudes and um, we have Spartoy, the Chow, still, so we'll be fine. Uh, let's fight you, actually. Oh, there's two of them, though. <laughs> Sonic, I'm gonna need you to, uh, to do some duty. <laughs> need you to just keep hitting these guys till they eventually die. Thanks. Um, actually, I do want to try Tails' Adrenaline Rush, see what that does. I am curious about that. Let's see if we can get Sonic an extra action from it. Also, ow. You guys kind of hurt. I mean, this round, Sonic is still doing just three times. Yeah, also, these guys are super armored. I'm sure there's some trick. Not entirely sure what that trick is. Interesting. Do I have to use moves that, like, lower their defense or something? Okay, yeah, Sonic has four actions now. Cool. We're just gonna do that. Oh, we got 900 experience out of that fight. Yeah, that was a bit of a tricky one. Um, Sonic's Chow never went off, so... Turns out we have one move that can actually damage them, and it's Blade Drop by um, Shade and Sonic. So that's a little unfortunate. Um, but yeah. I wonder if there's like... Yeah, there's Stunned, Taunt... Froggy Poison. It might be worth getting like a Poison move for Big right now. Um, Battering Ram unfortunately does not go through their armor. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll try getting poison because Big kind of just had to sit there and defend. He was damage sponging though, which is very nice. Uh, also, nobody can smack that, huh? It's like an Amy job. All right. I do kind of want to go there. Looks like there's rings and stuff. Um, okay, well, let's search the ground here first. Nope. Mandatory fight? Halt, Nocturnus. Defile you shall not this ancient ground. Nocturnus? They think we're Nocturnus. Why would they attack us? Could they be against the Nocturnus? This is certainly strange. Misted you my meaning. Nocturnus goons, die you now. Yeah, so maybe they are against the Nocturnus. That'd be really nice. Alright, well, kind of the same amount of enemies as last time, so... Gonna go for the same strats. Yeah, okay, getting froggy poison on Big was uh, was a really good idea. Um, every time he used it, the enemy would just take 41 damage every turn, and then I stacked it three times on the guy, so that was kind of fun. Um, shade, what do I want to give you? Speed, uh, attack, defense, luck, maybe one to luck. And no, we do want to get blade drop. As you can see, it's armor piercing. Um, which is the one that's actually doing damage against these guys, which is really good. Okay, she can also just uh, hyper herself. That's pretty cool. Fought we have many, Nocturnus. Not Nocturnus, are you? We're not here to fight you, small creatures with fur. Look, you like Nocturnus. If not you, Nocturnus, then must you be Sonic the Hedgehog. You've heard of him? Posted Lord Ix rewards for your capture. No of you will do all Kron. Wish we to live peacefully upon this ground, but forced we were for Lord Ix to build weapons and ships. Enslaved us, did Lordix. Stole he our precious ore. Angry became we. Decided we to fight. Um, <laughs> That's just rude, Sonic. You can't just ask people why they speak strangely. He has an accent, clearly. Why would Ix enslave his own allies? Allies? Never allies we were to Ix. Always slaves we were. Now only realize this did four men crag. Realize too late, city to save. Too late, war to win. Do you know anything about the Chaos Emeralds? Crystal here. Brought here to power factory for weapons of war. Never saw it did four-man crag this crystal, but heard of it, has he? Maybe their four-man knows where it is, or how to get it back? Maybe we can help each other against Ix. Help us you against Lord Ix? Mad gone you. Mad gone. We're here to defeat Ix. If we can help you, maybe Ix will be weaker. Then speak you with four-man crag. Go you now, before change mind I do. Go you through doors to the west. Follow you to four-man crag. Beware you, my fellow Kron. See you as Nocturnus spies, will they still? Right, let's go, team. There's a lot of talking to say, go west fellow friends. 
Okay, well I can just jump down here and get a free chow egg. Okay, so I'm supposed to go down that way, so let's not do that yet. Oh, that's exactly where I'm going. Okay. <laughs> it's not where I want to go. Uh, got another joy. That's pretty good. Shade already has that though. Here. Oh, I can go through here. Fight me, I need the experience. 900 experience is just insane at this point in the game. <laughs> So yeah, you know what? I uh, I will fight every single guy I can, even if it takes me forever to defeat them. All right, got a level up for Sonic. Um, what do I give you? More luck. Let's pump your attack a little bit, just because you and Shade are the main attackers right now. <clears throat> so it would be nice to have more attack on you. Okay, another Chow Egg. Uh, I can enter that. I'm assuming it probably links me up somewhere, but let's fight this uh, this little group of dudes first. Also, Sonic has actually quite a few hit points. Almost as many as Big, which is surprising. Oh good, Tails is almost leveled up. Um, okay, let's check in here. Just, just like a little- oh, there's a dude. Hello. I heard there were old worlders here on the Cron Colony, but I didn't believe it. I am Nestor, historian and scholar of the Nocturnus clan. You have nothing to fear from me, I swear it. He's got kind of the same markings that Shade does. No, impossible. How could you be Nestor the Wise? Nestor the Wise? Huh, that's interesting. I'll have to write that down. Um, do you know him, Knuckles? Nestor the Wise was the most famous echidna historian of all time. His chronicles of the ancient times are legendary. I suppose I should feel honored, though I certainly don't feel like a legend. Ha! Huh. Uh, what are you doing here, Nestor? Ever since the Argus event, all Lord X cares about is conquest and battle. Making machines of war, conquering the Twilight Cage for his own ends. I was exiled for speaking out against this attitude, and I think I got off easy. But I heard the Kron were mounting rebellion against Ix, so I thought this might be the safest place. Is there any way we can help you? I... I miss the Nocturne. Time spent on this rock has made me homesick. If you could bring me objects, things that would remind me of the Nocturne, I'd be glad to reward you the finest gift of all. Knowledge. Uh, what kinds of objects? That's the thing. When the Nocturne was brought into the Twilight Cage, parts of it broke off and landed on the other colonies. If you'd search the other colonies for those parts and bring them to me, I could use them to decorate my house and remember my home. We'll see what we can do. Uh, search each of the Twilight Cage colonies for cast off remnants of the Nocturne. I'll see what I can scrape together to reward your efforts. I don't remember this guy. I'm assuming he gives you like equipment and stuff, maybe items. But um, good, good to know he's there. Sounds like it might be kind of useful. Come on. Don't get hung up on the corner. Okay. Oh, good. This guy's respawned. Great. More things to fight. Alright. Yeah, we get Tails to level up. Perfect. Um, I guess we'll give you one more to speed. Still not 100% sure if speed is like the most useful stat. I could give more to defense. He already has a stacked defense. Maybe luck? Let's do luck. Uh, and you have five points, right, because we bought Adrenaline Rush. I am curious what Hyper 2 and stuff do. I, again, I don't know if that just gives you like a longer effect for Hyper, or if it gives you like three extra turns. Knowing this game, it probably actually gives you up to three extra turns, which would be super cool. Oh, oh I got a Chow. Ah, uh, Belgog. I already have ya. Apparently I'm missing six Chow eggs from here too, which is kind of wild. Uh... Okay, it says I could jump down there. Is there anything in there? No. I guess if you wanted to avoid the enemy, you could have jumped in there. Okay, I know I'm supposed to go down there eventually. Oh. Uh, but first we're gonna fight some more guys. And then I think we'll loop back to the ship. Um, just heal up maybe and maybe switch out for somebody who has um, bashing level 3. Just so we can get behind those boxes, see what's behind there. I suspect there's more chow eggs and stuff in them, so I would like to go figure that out. Oh. I just got a new item. Refresher wave. Uh, alien device gives plus 50 PP to all party members. Don't mind if I do. That sounds incredible. Um, also, there's nothing down here. Can I, like, climb this or anything? No. Okay, let's loop back. Yeah, I want to get kind of in any of these upper areas. And I don't think I can climb, so let's uh, let's go find somebody who has hitting things level three. 
Oh, chow egg. Also, hi, Rouge. Uh, I got another cheeselet. I have four cheeselets. Wow. I almost have a full cheese with that. Hey there, Big Blue. Got a moment? Uh, sure, Rouge. What's up? I have a secret, darling, and it's just for you and me. Before we left home, I got a message from Gun. They have a little mission for me out here. They're curious about the Nocturnus and their technology. They want me to bring some to them. Uh, why do they want Nocturnus technology? They saw how easily the Nocturnus took out Knuckles and stole the Chaos Emeralds. They want some of that power for themselves. To defend the world, of course. I'm sure the Nocturnus clan soldiers will leave Nocturnus tech behind when we defeat them in combat. When they do, just bring them to me. I'll catalog them for Gun. Sure, sounds easy enough. Let's do it. Thanks, Big Blue. You really know how to help a girl out. Just come talk to me while you have Nocturnus tech. I'll make it worth your while. Okay, so if we get Nocturnus tech, we can talk to Rouge. And if we get, like, Nocturnus items, we can give them to Nestor, I guess? Okay, um... Where's the thing I'm looking for? There we go. So Amy has smashed three, so let's just... Hmm, swap her out. That's a tricky one. I guess for big. Froggy Poison's good, but um, the the blade drop is really good. Um, hmm. Or do I do big because Froggy Poison and then just have Sonic keep attacking and hope for the Spartoy procs? Let's do that. Okay. Actually, I should check. I think these would stay smashed, so I could probably smash them and just go back to the ship and trade out for Shade again. Oh. Okay, well, we figured out that, um, yeah, that, that can happen in, uh, in the ambush. Good to know. Oh, okay, we've got another alien device that produced an energy pulse that heals all party members for 250. I'm liking these random alien device things we're getting. Very useful. Okay, uh, let's run back to the ship. Because again, I think those boxes will stay broken. And Amy's low blow did hit through armor, but it was doing like 10 damage. It was awful. So, um, yeah, I'd, I'd rather not. Um, also, yeah, actually Shade has more defense than Tails, so... Sweet. Okay, uh, do... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Shade and Big. There we go. And I guess Big's gonna be the next one to level up. Oh, wait. I do want to fight you. Please and thank you. This 900 experience stuff is super overpowered at this point. So, um, yeah. I... I know it's silly that we have to fight all these guys, but... 900 experience for relatively easy battles? I am not going to complain. Alright, up we go. Get some rings, get a chow egg. Wait, is that it? Oh, there's chow egg up there. How do I get over there? Interesting. Okay, so I guess there's not really anything up there. I probably have to go through the place we're supposed to. The next story area. Which makes sense, I suppose. But before we do that, see if I can just fight some more guys. <laughs> more fighting. Just get every single last drop of experience possible. It's just so good. Okay, yeah, so the crying colony is bigger than I remember it being. Uh, we found, what, like, not even half the chow eggs and hardly any of the rings. We still have to somehow get up to that shop up in the top right. So, oh. And we need Amy again, too. All right, um, great. So I'll be a couple minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Actually, the enemies hadn't respawned, so I just kind of... Ran back, grabbed Amy, came back here, smashed some boxes, went back, got shade again, and hopefully we don't have any more boxes to hit because, um, yeah, otherwise we're gonna be doing more backtracking. Yay. But alas, we have more guys to fight. What a surprise, said nobody ever. So, fight some guys, I shall. Yeah, Big is very close to leveling up. Okay, how do I get up there? Is there a way to get up there? Okay. Weird perspective. Got it. Oh wait, there's also rings up there. How do I get those? Oh, it's a different door by the looks of it. Okay. There's like a pipe. Ah, okay, this carries on. Got it. Oh, I see. It just kind of looped around. Okay. 
And now we're up here and there's a Nocturnus. Nocturnus Princeps. Oh, not ready to deal with Nocturnus. I was getting so used to dealing with the, uh, the Kron. Wow, I can actually hit guys again. Okay. Entirely new battle strategies. Let's go. Okay, Nocturnus guys weren't too bad. And they gave us Nocturnus tech. A piece of Nocturnus clan technology is so advanced even Tails can't figure out its function. I have no idea if that's supposed to go to Nestor or Rouge, but I guess I can check in with both of them eventually. Um, big, let's bump your defense up a little bit. And you have five points, right. I would like to get better froggy poison. Oh, it does attack damage too. That's interesting. I haven't really noticed it with the Kron because um, every time it hits them, it does one damage, but I guess it also counts as an attack when you first hit them. So that's pretty cool. Okay. But I think we should leave the rest of exploring for next time. Looks like we're almost halfway through this uh, map based on chow eggs and ring count. Yeah. So maybe we'll get through the Kron colony next time. Maybe not. Who knows? But that'll be a next week problem. So thank you guys for joining me this week. And I'll see you next week.